For my first trick, pulling the dog out of the hat. Thank you, Chippy. Now for some credits. Impressed, eh? Well, watch this. Let me try that again. The wand never fails. I'm getting the idea. And now for my next trick. Ah! Oh well. Back to the old drawing board. Pretty good, huh? I'm entirely self-taught, you know. I can't believe you've watched this far. I would have skipped through it by now. I can smell burning. Hang on. Ow! Ow! Ooh. Ow! Ooh. <laughs> I'd like to see you do better. I wonder if I can find a better dog in here. Ow! I didn't even have time to get a phone number. And now, for all you traditionalists... <coughs> knocks them dead every time. Now for the woman again. Never mind, I like a woman with spirit. This homework is really bugging me. I think I'll find the dog and put it in the dryer again. So that's where you are. What's this? Ye oldie spell bookie. What a load of old rubbish. <laughs> okay, gobos, this magic paper bring food. I thought I heard something. Alizigi, Alizangi, Alizongi, Alizongi. Dear Simon, I am pleased to announce that you have been chosen from literally hundreds of hopeful candidates to perform a death-defying but extremely worthwhile quest for which you will be rewarded quite a lot. All you have to do is rescue me from the hands of the evil sorcerer Sordid. Feel free to use my extremely valuable spellbook and dog to assist you. Look forward to seeing you soon. Wish you were here. Love and kisses. Calypso, Grand High Wizard of the Village of Fleur de Lis. 
P.S. Before you can use the spell book, you must become a wizard. There are some wizards hanging around in the local tavern who can help you. P.P.S. Use this magic postcard and map to help you. Oh, great! I'm stuck here in this stinking world in these stinking clothes and not a pizza bar in sight! Lucky this is just a dream or I'd be really worried. It's my little dog, Chippy! A shallow drawer in the wizard's writing desk. Oh look! There's a pair of scissors in here. It's too big for me. A strange picture with strange symbols around it. It's a fine example of its kind. You wouldn't expect to see one of those here. The door appears to be stuck shut. It must be Calypso's junk. What would I want with that pile of junk? No one will miss this old thing. He's very muscular. It's large, wooden and completely locked. It's locked. You can go up it or down it. I love wagon wheels. It's too big for me. It's super-powered elephant cold remedy. It's a papier mache moose head. It is impossible to strike up an intelligent conversation with an inanimate object. It's a specimen collecting jar for invertebrates. I don't see the point. I wonder why there's no graffiti on it. A shifty looking bloke selling bric-a-brac. It's a fine example of its kind. It's a metal bar from inside a bell. Ow! 
Ow, ow, ow! He's crying because he's got a thorn stuck in the bottom of his foot. My, can you help me, boy? Sorry, I've got enough problems of my own. At least you haven't got a thorn in your foot. Can you help me, boy? I'm not coming near you. You look dangerous. I am dangerous. I rob from the rich. And give to the poor? Nah, I just keep it all. I'm an accountant, you know. You don't strike me as accountant material. Well, actually, I'm just an apprentice at the moment. Now, will you help me, please? I doubt it. Please. I've got this thorn stuck in my foot and I can't get it out. How do you survive with such a near-fatal wound? It's only the courage of a bear that prevents me from passing out. Okay, let's have a look at it. Soon have this out. It might sting a bit. Oh! There we are. All done. Thank you so much. I'm forever in your debt. Think nothing of it. Okay, but here, take this whistle. If you ever need any help, just blow it and I'll be there. Thanks. What a nice guy. He's resting after the shock of having the thorn pulled out of his foot. It's got something stuck in the end of it. There's no point. It's blocked up with something. It's a very deep well. The handle to wind the rope up. It's a fine example of a bucket of water. A sturdy wooden door. I'd better knock. Nobody home. I have a bad feeling about this. It's a strong wooden trunk. I wonder if it's the one from Sleeping Beauty. I used to make these things when I was younger. It's full of smelly green stuff. Somehow I don't think this one's lucky. It looks like the sort of thing a witch might fly on. How do you suggest I open the locks? I don't want it. It gives me the creeps. Oh dear. Oh dear. No one ever told you not to steal from a witch? I was only borrowing it. Borrowing it, eh? Uh, sorry? Get out of here before I do something nasty! Yes, ma'am. Phew, that was a close one. Any spare 
of wood on you, mate. Did you just hear something? Just a bit of balsa or plywood. We not fussy. I must be hearing things. I could have sworn I heard a voice. I think I need to sit down. Get off me! I couldn't breathe under there. My whole life flashed before my eyes. There has to be some sort of logical explanation for this. You can at least look at me when you're talking to me. Just because I'm begging doesn't mean I'm a bad person. I was talking to the player, not you. Oh, right. So, you got any spare wood or not? Are you trying to build yourself up again or something? Huh? We're woodworm. We need wood to live. This stump's just about had it. Sorry, I didn't realize you were woodworm. You didn't honestly think you were talking to a tree stump, did you? I pride myself on not talking to tree stumps or woodworm. That's just so typical. Just because I've got eight legs, you presume there's something wrong with me. It's racism, and that's what it is. Pure bloody-minded racism. Racism? Against woodworm? And that's just part of the problem. You don't even see us as people. Well, correct me if I'm wrong, but... We've got just as much right to draw breath as you have. I don't really care. Goodbye. If that's your attitude, bugger off. I'm back. Come to apologize, have you? No, I just wanted to drop some more cheap insults. If that's your attitude, bugger off. I'm back. Come to apologize, have you? I suppose so. Would you like me to get you some wood? Well, what we would really like is some really good quality wood. Something with real class. Teak, for example. Oh, go for wood? I reckon driftwood. Driftwood? How about a bit of ebony? Ebony, yeah. What about balsa? I love a bit of balsa. Ebony, balsa, ebony, driftwood. Shut up! Shut up yourself, fatso. So, look who's talking, blubber bum! Young hooligan, have some respect. Sort of good then. I reckon it should be oak. And I say balsa. I still agree with Teak. Who cares what you think? Watch it, mate, or I'll do you an injury. Oh, yeah? Yeah! It's been ages since we had gopher wood. It's been ages since we had any wood. Teak, balsa, oak. Mahogany! Good idea! I fancy a bit of mahogany. Yeah! I still prefer teak. Shut up! Mahogany it is then. What do I get out of it? The satisfaction of knowing you've made an invertebrate's life more bearable. I feel better just thinking about it. Who's that trip trapping over my bridge? Um, here we are. It's only me, the littlest Billy Goat Graf. I'm going to the meadow to make myself fat. <laughs> then I'm gonna gobble you up. Oh no, please don't gobble me up. I'm far too little and not at all fat. Wait until the second Billy Goat Graf comes along. He's much fatter than I am. Very well. Be off with... Hang on a minute. I've fallen for this before. If we keep going on like this, then I get butted into the river. Again. No, no, no! That's all wrong! Referring you to page 23 of the text, I say the, he's much fatter than I am bit, at which point you say, very well, be off with you, and then you wait for the second Billy Goat Gruff and so on. It's dead easy! Listen, Mr. Gruff, 
Every day I get knocked into the bloody river and I'm fed up with it. I'm starving. Therefore, contrary to popular children's tale, I'm going to eat you and pop your friend there in the fridge. Now come on, Mr. Uh, Troll. You signed the contract for this job, so say a bit and let me pass, or start cleaning out your office. Let me tell you something. I don't care for this job or the office. In fact, I'm about to terminate my contract with the Gruff, Gruff and Gruff Corporation by eating one of my employers. Can't we be reasonable here? It doesn't make sound economic sense for you to do that. Why don't we talk this over like civilized adults? Survival of the fittest, I'm afraid, Mr. Gruff. Let's examine basic survival instincts for a moment. I'm a big, powerful carnivore, and you are a weak, defenseless herbivore. By rights, I should be currently cleaning your remains out of my teeth. Referring you once again to the text, you will observe that by refraining from eating me, you will have the opportunity to devour my somewhat larger brother over there. Mr. Gruff, you've always been a considerate employer. I've always had my Christmas bonus, etc. So I've decided not to eat you, but to take industrial action instead. I'm forming a picket line. No one may cross the bridge until further notice. Okay, you've made your point. The billy goat is trying to reason with the troll. I shall not, I shall not be moved. He's stopping anyone from crossing the bridge. I shall not, I shall not be moved. Ahem. Look, can't you see I'm busy? There are other trolls, you know. Top of the morning to you, Mr. Troll. May I cross the bridge, please? No, no one may cross the bridge until I have satisfaction. And a fine bridge it is, too. I clean it every day, and no one shall cross it until I have satisfaction. What do you want? I told you. Satisfaction, whatever that is. Satisfaction, noun. Satisfying or being satisfied in regard to desire or want or doubt. Eh? I have some fine examples of it in my pocket. Let me see it. Um, I appear to have left it at home. Satisfaction are small furry rodents with a nasty disposition. Eh? Why are you unhappy? Every day these juicy, fat billy goats come down here to cross the bridge. I know how the story goes and all that, but I'm dying of starvation. Until I get a goat to eat, no one may cross the bridge. You could do with some meat on your bones. I would have eaten those two by now, if it wasn't for their big brother. He's a really tough old goat. If I lay a claw on them, poor. Can't you eat something other than goat? Nothing else is quite the same. I tried loads of other things. Chickens, rabbits, pigs. But none of them are patch on goat. All I want is a little goat to eat. Is that too much to ask? Mustache, I forgot to feed my wombat. Thanks a lot. Hang on a minute. What's with the whistle around your neck? It's mine. You can't touch it. Give it here. Let's have a look at it. <whistles> huh. I did a lot. Now where were we? Oh yeah. I was just going to suggest eating you and... Is this guy bothering you? Yes, yeah, sick him. Righty ho. Oh, <clears throat> you've been picking on my friend. No, 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 sir. He seems to think otherwise. Ow! What should I do with him? Chuck him in the stream. Okie dokie. <clears throat> Everything okay now? 
Yeah, thanks a lot. See ya. It says, equal rights for trolls on it. He doesn't look very intelligent. What appears to be the problem? Are you a farmer? Do I look like a farmer? No, but you could be wearing a costume. I see. Know anything about magic beans? Not a sausage. I am not interested in sausages. Do you know anything about magic beans or not? Uh, no. You're a fine help then, aren't you? I've just remembered I do know something about beans. Why aren't my beans growing then? Eh? I planted them here, but they haven't grown an inch yet. Maybe they're dud beans. They can't be. They came from the same batch as the ones that Jack used. I think you've been conned, mate. No. The peddler told me he was an old friend of mine. He even bought me a drink. Nature takes time to work its wondrous magic. <laughs> but these are magic beans. They grow instantly. Maybe you should water them. Water them? Why would I want to do that? Um, to make them grow? That sounds like a good idea. I'll tell you what. You go and get the water, and I'll keep watch. I'm one step ahead of you, mate. Well, don't just stand there, then. Pour it on the seeds. You drown them. I'll have to go and dry them out now. I think this is my cue to exit. I got them from the oaf in the forest. It's a shiny metal bell. It's a very imposing door. There's no handle. What the hell do you want? I've come to rescue you. <coughs> Who put the lights out? It's peroxide blonde. I wouldn't be able to climb up it then.
What the hell do you want? You're not the wicked witch. Which wicked witch would that be? The wicked witch of the West. She took me from my father when I was just a piglet. It was she that perverted my beauty and imprisoned me here. Am I destined to spin wool for the rest of eternity? Hang on. Did you say piglet? Maybe this will explain everything. My God! Everyone makes the same mistake. And when they see my face, they run screaming from the tower. The only way the spell can be broken is with a kiss from one from another dimension. This is where I come in, I feel. Fear not! Your savior is here! <coughs> what did I do to deserve this? solid-looking wooden floorboards. Ugh, there are loads of mushy novels and underwear all around here. It's a box of safety matches. I wonder what this is doing here. I haven't got any quarters. He looks completely out of it. I wouldn't want to wake him. I'm looking, I'm looking! Uh, hello! What do you want, boy? Hello! What are you on, kiddo? Get out of here! You two would look great in my next movie. What? Um... What do you want? You! I want you! Oh, get a grip, you irritating adolescent. I just want to ask you some questions. You're not from some sort of magazine, are you? Uh, yes I am. Okay then. Would you like to slip into something more comfortable? Get a grip on your hormones for a minute, please. What are your measurements? I'm a 38, 22, 34. And I'm a 36, 24, 34. What are your hobbies? I like killing things and drinking a lot. And I like needlework and decorative embroidery. And killing things and drinking a lot. You're not married, are you? No. Don't you get a little cold during the winter? We just move around a lot, if you know what we mean. What do you wear in bed? Armor. Thought as much. Have you always wanted to be barbarians? I killed my first goblin when I was four. And we liberated our first city when we were seven. So how many heroic deeds have you done then? We're second in the barbarian tag team, first division. I'm still in the running for the Dismembered Orc Trophy! 
Where'd you get your armor? Battle Dwarf Forge in Northgate. We've never been disappointed. What did you have for breakfast this morning? Goblin flakes and orc's eye, sunny side up. What are your ambitions in life? Yesterday we pledged to rid the land of orcs. But we decided it was too easy. So today our ambition is to kill Sordid. Do you dye your hair? I use orc's blood to do mine. And I use troll brains. Do you know anything about the evil wizard Sordid? That's why we're here, actually. We've drawn it from the far northern steppes to battle with him. Through the perilous wastelands of Kring. Pausing only to defeat the evil tribe of Wedgi the Merciless. Across the plains of death and the fields of doom. Where we liberated the city of Tormer from the dark hordes of Kalish. We're now preparing to attack the sorcerer's tower and save the world. Again! How are you planning on getting into the tower? Well, brute force has never failed us in the past. But if that fails, then we've heard that the druid may be able to help. We can't find him anywhere, though. No more questions, ladies. See ya. You'd better give us a good review. Or else. Phew, it's awfully hot in here. Good morrow, barkeep. Good morrow, lad. Do you know where Calypso has got to? Nah, but then that old geezer is always going off without telling anybody. Collecting magical ingredients, he says. Who knows what sort of harm could befall him, especially with that sordid character running about. What do you know about sordid? Very little. He lives up in the craggy peaks and generally keeps himself to himself. He's boosted my trade tenfold, though. How is Sordid helping to boost business? It's a long story. Apparently, he wants to take over the entire world using black magic. Anyway, as a result, all the heroes are donning rusty armor again and coming back into service. All of them seeing themselves as the saviors of the world. The thing is, though, they all stop here for a drink on the way. I've seen all sorts go through here. Warriors, wizards, priests, assassins, and not one has been seen again. So what? I don't see what all the fuss is about personally. So he may be a bit power crazy and all that, but who isn't these days? The old fella keeps himself to himself. He don't bother us, we don't bother him, and that's that. I come from another dimension. As I said, we get all sorts in here. You talk a lot, don't you? I'm a bartender. The punters expect local gossip and general small talk from me. Nice talking to you. So long. See ya. Where did you say we were? We're in a quaint rural village, according to the guide. And making no progress with our task. We only just got here. We'll find the bloody thing. Apparently, the renegade warlock, Sordid, was last seen in this area. I hope we don't run into him. Mm, that's put me right off my beer. I remember Sordid in the circle. Rightly like. Glad to get rid of him. Time for another game. I'll be the North Wind this time. I wonder where old Calypso could be. Yeah, odd him not being at home. He might be out collecting ingredients. We'll look for him in the morning. He might know something about the bloody staff. Shush! Our mission's top secret. Well, I'm bloody fed up with the damn thing. We've been searching for it for the past three months. At least we know roughly where it is now. If you hadn't broke the detector thingy... How was I supposed to know it wasn't waterproof? Well, the circle's gonna have something to say about it. Delicate? And valuable piece of apparatus that was. I've got two chows, two pongs, and a cow. Dab a bit of salt bait on it. It worked for me. So that's 44 points. Yes, but double it for having a pair of concealed green dragons, I think. But I went my gong, so don't I win? You don't have any concealed dragons, though. 
but I've got an exposed Kong of Red Dragons. I think I'd better consult the rules again. Where did this game come from anyway? That short man with the strange eyes gave it to us, remember? No, we didn't have to pay for it. A nice man, though, as I recall. Very clever with his, uh, wok, wasn't he? That thing looked really sharp. I wouldn't dare mess with it. I wanted to meet his confused friend he was always on about. He wasn't confused. He was called Confusion or something. Judging by some of the things he is supposed to have said, he sounded pretty confused. I had a friend who was confused one. Never, never saw him again. Let's have another go at this game then. So I'm the East Wind, right? I thought I was the East Wind. You're a southern breeze, I think. I think we're all winds. I'd rather be a breeze than a wind. You can lose your hat in a wind. What you do is tie it on with a piece of string. It rubs against your chin, though. It can give you a nasty rash. So the prevailing wind is north, yes? Oh, not at this time of year. East is far more likely. But in the game, it's north. That's stupid, if you ask me. Not very realistic at all. Nori's building the Great Wall of China to keep out demons. Demons can fly. Everyone knows that. Maybe it's a magical wall. Mm, I suppose it could be. It doesn't look magical, though. It seems a bit heartless, us knocking it down like this. Right, have we twittered the sparrows yet? Mm, I don't think that bit is too important. Well, uh, uh, what's his name? You know, the short man said that was very important. I think it just makes an awful racket. It doesn't sound much like sparrows either. Where did you say we were? We're in a quaint rural village, according to the guide. And making no progress with our task. We only just got here. We'll find the bloody thing. Apparently, the renegade warlocks sorted. They think they're disguised as yokels. I hope we don't run into him. Excuse me. Yes, boy. What's this game you're playing? We be crop rotating, bain't we? Who are that we be? And we bain't be being wizards, bain't we? No like, we be being farmers. We be less magical than an organic parsnip, Nike. You have absolutely feeble accents, fellas. Are you saying we be fakes, like? Yep. What makes you think we're a wizards anyway, you like? When I move my mouse pointer over you, it says wizards. Oh, fair enough, I suppose. Disguises off, lads. What did you want to speak to us about anyway? What do you know about Calypso? We will not impart such information to you, a non-wizard. Stop wasting our time. So I'm the East Wind, right? Listen to me for a second. Yes, boy. Make me a wizard or I'll cry. You can't be a wizard. You're not old enough. I've got two... Listen to me for a second. Yes, boy. I'll do anything to be a wizard. Anything? Anything. Well, you could do us a little favour. You see... All new wizards must perform a service to the circle before being uh, properly invested. Isn't that right, brothers? Mmm, yeah, that's right. Absolutely. Hey? Just name it and I'll do it. It's like this, see? We would be extremely interested in acquiring a certain magical implement. It's a magical star for him to be hidden in this area. And we would like you to find it for us. And then I get made a wizard, right? If you find us the staff, then we'll invest you on the spot. Any ideas where it is? As far as we know, its last owner was Nathlin, the necromancer. What he did with it when he died is beyond me. Tricky type, those necromancers. Always messing about with embalming, fluid and giblets. 
tuck fish in sod and probably buried with it. What does this staff look like? It's about six feet tall with a crystal sphere on one end. No problem. We look forward to your return. Where did this game come from anyway? That short man with the strange eyes gave it. Did you say, psst? Who, me? Yes. What do you want? You interested in any, mm, priceless antique porcelain figurines? Not really. They're handcrafted by the ancient ones of Grail. No thanks. I've got lots of other priceless antiques. Anyone for a gold piece? Have you got any hint books for this game? Sorry. Sold the last one five minutes ago. I've got lots of other stuff though. How come you can sell priceless antiques for so little? It's the recession. I've got lots of one-off bargains. Let's have a look then. Anything on the mat is yours for only one gold piece. See anything takes your fancy? I'll have some of that worthless junk, please. Worthless junk? You insult my professional honesty, sir. All this junk was handcrafted thousands of years ago. It's priceless, and yet I, like a fool, sell them for next to nothing. Now, is there anything you want or not? Have you got any dodgy salesman repellent? Sold out, just last week. Is there anything else you want? Have you got any magical stuff? But of course I have. For the right price. Firstly, there's a strength potion. Watch. <coughs> Genuine, long-lasting, fast-acting strength potion. Yours for only ten gold pieces. Um. All right, five gold pieces. Well. Three gold pieces then. But that's the last I go. What do you say? Can I see something else? Certainly, sir. What I have here is a one-off. It's a unique, magical invisibility amulet. Watch! Can you see yourself? Uh, no. And this can be yours for only five gold pieces. I can't say fairer than that, now can I? Can I see something else? That's all the magical stuff I've got. Do you see anything else interests you? No, all the rest is junk. Goodbye. Who needs your custom anyway? A heap of highly magical and smelly compost. I won't bother if that's all the same to you. I got them from the oaf in the forest. That's not part of a balanced diet. Wow, this must be good compost. Big, green, and fruity. I hate melon.
This must be an extremely low-budget candy house. It's locked. I could never get through all that. It's all laid and ready for tea. Just like Granny used to have. She's asleep on the floor. I suppose it's the equivalent of a giant joint for bees. It's a beekeeper's hat and fashion accessory. Looks very comfortable. I haven't got time for lazing around. I'm not going too close. It's too big for me. It's stuck to the beehive. I took some beeswax from the hive. It's a lump of sticky yellow wax from the beehive. He doesn't look very wise. Excuse me, uh, boy? Yeah? Um, uh, well, uh, I can't quite remember that. Uh, never mind. Right. It's a feather. Excuse me. <coughs> oh, it's um you again. Are you a wise owl? Oh yes. There's nothing I don't... Uh, uh... No? No. Yes. I'm just not very good with... Uh, uh... Words? Words. 
Yes. Uh... Have you got any hints for me? Hints? Uh... Yes. You must be... Uh... Um... Handsome? No. Uh... Suave? No, no. Um... Your name? Simon? That's it? Yes! Um... You really are useless, aren't you? What? Yes. <laughs> Probably. Well, I'll be off then. Be off? Yes! Uh... Stone table used for the sacrificing of shaved lions. It says, caution, paleontological dig in process. There's a strange man digging down there. Hello? Is there anybody down there? Ain't nobody here but us chickens. Have you got a permit for this, sir? Permit? Do you not know who I am? You're adding to your interesting rock collection? Not bad. I'm the famous Dr. Von Jones. The famous who? Philistine. I'm the most famous paleontologist in the world. I'm looking for the missing link between man and vegetable. You mean Dan Quayle? No. I mean fossils, my boy. They are the key to this mystery. You haven't seen any lying around, have you? As a matter of fact, I haven't. If you do see any, be sure to let me know. Okay. Please go now. I've reached a new seam of very promising rock strata. I can tell when I'm not wanted. Extremely large and daunting doors. I think you have to open them from the inside. There's a piece of paper under this rock. It's a shopping list addressed to the storekeeper in town. Dwarves only. I am a dwarf. Course you are. Now sod off or taste a sharp end of my spear. Nice people.
This magical map is used to speed around the game. Hello again. Yeah. I'd like a wet wizard, please. Hang on a moment. I'm sure I've got some sparrow juice down here somewhere. I've blocked the nozzle on the barrel with the wax. I'm sorry, sir. I can't seem to find any sparrow juice at the moment. That's okay. I'm underage anyway. Wait here, kid. I've got something for you. Hey, kid. Take one of these leaflets home to your dad. Happy hour at the Drunken Druid. Ale for one gold piece a mug. There's also a free beer voucher attached. It's a voucher for a free glass of beer at the Drunken Druid. There's enough beer in this barrel for a really good night with the lads. Good thing I've got a big hat. Apparently the place is called the Drunken Druid. I thought I told you to get lost, but I am a dwarf. Look, pal, dwarves have beards. Now push off. I shaved it off. If you ain't out of my sight in three seconds. It's a rock. Oh, look. There's a word written on it. It has the word beer chalked on it. Wow! Very sophisticated. Itchy, though. All right, mate. All right. What's the password, then? Password? You can't come in without a password. Shucks. I guess I've forgotten it. Rules is rules. All right, mate. All right. What's the password, then? Uh, Abacus? No. Try again. Is it beer? You may pass. Right on. He's assaying the gems from the mine. Watch your fella dwarf. Go away, I'm busy. What's rattled your cage? You, now go away. I'm an inspector from head office. Where's your ID? Um, I've left it at home. Leave me alone. 
I've got something important to say. Yes? Orders from the king. Give me all the gems. We don't have a king. We're a democratic mine. Will you please go away now? Okay. I don't think I ought to disturb him again. It's an empty beer bottle. Stop! Guard! Get rid of him! Duty dwarves only! But I'm standing in for Axe Face Skull Splitter. Why? What's wrong with him? Some trolls mistook him for a chair. I don't believe you. Fair enough. So naff off! I am a duty dwarf. No, you're not. Fair enough. So naff off! That's okay, I'm not a dwarf. What? I said, uh, I come from the north. Eh? Just naff off, will you? Naff off yourself. Ow! Care for some beer, by any chance? I'm on duty, but I suppose one mag can't hurt. Bring it down, will you? Okie dokie. This way. Bring it over here. Now, how about a drinking competition? Anyone for a beer? He seems to be in a drunken stupor. Not a Yale. Anyone for a beer? He looks drunk. He probably couldn't tell his ass from his elbow. He looks drunk. He probably couldn't tell his ass from his elbow. <laughs> God. God! Time for a sharp exit. Where is that lazy slug? He must have gone for a beer break. Hi ho, hi ho, it's up to where we go. La 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 ho, hi ho, hi ho. Shut up! Hi ho, hi ho, it's up to where we go. La la la. Hello. I ho, I ho, it's up to where we go. La 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 la. Excuse me. Yes. So, how long have you been a dwarf? Man and boy, never an inch above four foot high in the U.S. What? Never? No, never. What? Never? Well, hardly ever. A few sit-ups will do you the world of good. Watch it. I've never been killed in a battle, you know. What, never? No. Where does this door go? It's the treasury. All our gems are kept here. Do you know where I can find a key to it? Well, the dwarf in charge of key keeping today is, um... How's this jawbreaker? He's probably drunk in the beer room. Look at sir. Must be off. You know how it is. Hi ho, hi ho, it's up to where we go. It's a heavy gold encrusted door. Shit! 
Oi! Get out of here! This is restricted area. I've come to relieve you. I'm not due for another hour or so, so get out before I throw you out. I thought I told you to go away. A temporary miscalculation on your part. Why? Because I've come to make you a once-in-a-lifetime offer. What sort of an offer? I've got something in my inventory that you want. What's that then? Well... What's this? Happy hour at the Drunken Druid and a free voucher? How can I ever repay you? Nice pile of gems you got there. Just one though. Here you are, now clear off. And stay out. I'm not wandering around wearing this beard. It's too itchy. Ah, that's better. I'll have to sell everything. He looks miserable. Why didn't I listen to my mother? Excuse me? Yeah? You look like you need cheering up. No one could cheer me up. My life is in ruins. Nonsense. It's never too late to be of good cheer. That's easy for you to say. What did I do to deserve this? I hope your bad luck's not catching. It's not so much bad luck. My main woe is trees. Trees? Trees. The big hard brown things with green bits? Trees, yes. I thought woodcutters were problems for trees. Not these trees around here. Is it true that you can tell the age of a tree by counting its rings? Of course. What's so special about these trees? They have some sort of magical protection over them. The blows of my axe just bounce off. Sounds like they must be rubber trees to me. Yeah, I guessed as much. Were you holding the axe the right way round? I tried holding it in every way imaginable, but to no avail. Who would magically protect a tree? Wizards are a weird bunch. Who could guess at their motives? I'm a wizard, actually. I'm not in the mood for jokes, minstrel. Why don't you just go back to a normal forest? Because all my money is tied up in this house, I can't afford to go back. It looked like a real woodcutter's paradise in the brochure. Now I know why none of the others came here. I bet you feel a proper fool. All right, don't rub it in. Why don't you just buy a magical axe? Do you know how much those things cost? The only thing that'll help me is an axe made of Milrith. Milrith? It's an anagram of Mithril. It's also the hardest metal known to man. What? Harder than diamond? Diamond's not a metal. But it's harder than diamond. It's rarer too. I don't know anyone that's ever seen it. Have you tried the dwarves? 
If you want Mithril, dwarves is fine, but those stunty buggers don't know anything about Melrith. When I asked, all they did was give me this metal detector. Did it do any good? If it had done, then I wouldn't be here now, would I? Why don't you take the bloody thing? You couldn't do any worse than me. Okay. Woe is me. There's someone fishing down there. Sorry, old chap. Can't hear you. Can you shut up for a minute? I do beg your pardon. Thank you. How can I help you? What the hell is that thing? That thing is a sousaphone. It's a musical instrument. You could have fooled me. What's that supposed to mean? What I heard didn't sound too musical to me. I see, old chap. I bid you good day. I'm not staying here with that racket going on. Thirty-six, twenty-four, thirty-eight. Oh, curses! It's broken. This is your lucky day. I just happen to own a musical instrument repair parlor. I can have it done up for you in no time. Really? Sure. Just hand it over and I'll return it within an hour. It's a door set into an old tree. I'd better knock. Ah! Hello? Anybody home? Hello? Huh? It is so nice to have Persian come visit me. I is so pleased. Well, actually, I think I've got the wrong house. Wow! I thought you were my first birthday friend. I thought you'd come to play with me for my birthday. No one ever comes to see me anymore. I'm not surprised. I'd rather visit a warm cesspit. I feel a serious guilt trip coming on. Hey! You come back! Only to advise better personal and culinary hygiene. I know you could. 
couldn't resist delicious stew. Sit, sit! I bring special birthday stew. Hang on, I didn't agree to... Friend, I give my friend special swamp stew. Ancient and secret recipe, handed down from swamplin to swamplin for generations. What's in this stuff? Ancient secret recipe. Can't tell secret ingredients. Set one. Swamp mud, very important ingredient. Mud? And you expect me to eat this? Well, nobody likes swamplins cooking no more. I spent hours making stew and then have to throw it. No one comes to eat here now. <laughs> If it makes you any happier, I'll eat your stew. Goody! I'm very pleased with this batch. Extra woodlouse works well. I wish this was happening to you instead of me. I think I hear someone. Goody! I think some more friends have arrived. <laughs> A friend. Please have mercy. Eat up. It's good for you. Oh no. A friend. No more for me, thanks. I'm stuffed. Eat up. It's good for you. Oh no. Not again. I won't have to eat any more of that stuff. It's an empty wooden chest. It's a trapdoor set in the floor. statue of a really ugly barbarian. A solid stone statue of a wizard. It's set to Milrith finding mode. I feel lucky. I'm going to do this very carefully.
Wow, that sure is strong metal. He's in a deep sleep. If I could find a way to knock it over, I could get across the chasm. I don't see the point. I don't think I can shout loud enough to wake him. It's a statue of a pygmy warrior woman. It says, warning, spontaneously combustible substance. My God, it's a real dragon. Well, what did you expect in a dragon's cave? This isn't happening. I wouldn't hang about if I were you. I've got a fearful cold and consequently am not fully in control of my breath. Lucky I was wearing my asbestos underwear. That cough medicine has knocked him out like a light. The Dragon's Hoard. A pile of gold coins. Wake up, Mr. Dragon! The hell am I doing? I don't want to wake him. I'm not going past him. If he wakes up, I'll be toast again. A hole in the ceiling to let light in. It's a carbon dioxide fire extinguisher. It's a pinnacle of rock. I can see the dragon's treasure down there. This is silly. Everyone knows gold isn't magnetic. Sixteen gold pieces. That wasn't much of a hoard. Twenty-four gold pieces. That wasn't much of a hoard. 
24 gold pieces. My, that's an interesting rock. It has a fossil in the middle of it. The asparagus jelly goes here with all the other jellies. Yeah, I, I disagree. It should be put here with the other vegetables. It's a cake covered in pink icing. I say it goes... They are squares of chocolate cake. And I say it goes here. They are wooden barrels. Okay. They are sacks full of rice. But I need to go to the toilet. No way. You'll have to restrain yourself. I would like to buy this. What would you want with them? I would like to buy this. They're reserved. I would like to buy this. They're a special order. I would like to buy this. That's a special order. It's a wide variety of cosmetics. I would like to buy this. They're just display models. It's a wide variety of cosmetics. It's a storage bin for corn. It's a storage bin for beans. It's a storage bin for flour. They are bleach, detergent, washing powder and window cleaner. It reminds me of when I was a lad. Soft, strong and thoroughly absorbent. They are non-stick Teflon cooking implements. It's an antique wooden cuckoo clock. I would like to buy this. I can't sell it. It's a family heirloom. I would like to buy this. They're just display models. I would like to buy this. They're very expensive magic beans. You couldn't afford them. I would like to buy this. Mm, we've had a lot of complaints about it. I would like to buy this. There's none left. I would like to buy this. Uh, this is a faulty batch. I would like to buy this. Those aren't for sale. I would like to buy this. I can't sell you them. I like them too much. I would like to buy this. I can't sell them. I use them for cooking. It's a garden rake. It's a tungsten carbide lightweight claw hammer. They're all mushy romantic novels. I would like to buy this. I'm sorry, they're all reserved for Nonak the Barbarian. I would like to buy this. It's broken. I would like to buy this. That'll be two gold pieces. Okay, here you are. It comes with a free nail. Anything else, sir? I just like to browse. I would like to buy this. That'll be one gold piece. Okay, here you are. Anything else, sir? I just like to browse. It's a jar full of rather disgusting smelly liquid. It's a wood nail. It's a tungsten carbide lightweight claw hammer.
You're not the regular person. He's sick. Oh, okay then. Tell the delivery boy we'll leave it outside when we finish making it up. Okie dokie. Excuse me. How do, boys? What's new? Not a lot. He's a little uglier, perhaps. And, and he's a little stupider. See you around. Bye. It's the oldest thing in the entire game. Catch! I don't believe it! This is an extremely lucky find indeed. It's an amoeba from the Cambrian period. This could be it. Will I be as famous as you for this? Of course, of course. Just tell me where you found this specimen, my boy. What's it worth? Fame, fortune, my name in lights. Your name in lights? Our name in lights. So where did you find it then? It's in the craggy peaks. I left my metal detector there. Excellent. I shall journey there immediately. Let me just get my things together. Drat! I've broken my shovel. A pile of dirt excavated by Dr. Von Jones. There's also some Milrith ore here. It's a lump of metal bearing rock. Dr. Von Jones searching for fossils. I don't think I want him to know I'm here. I don't think he'll be pleased to see me. Can you do anything with this? I can do anything you want with such fine metal. Good, because I need an axe head made for me. No problem, as long as I can keep what's left over. Sure. See you around. It's a special super hard axe head. It looks like a lump of kryptonite. Ah, ah, ah. 
Hey, mate, are you interested in a priceless gem? Give it. I'll have a look at it. Hmm, this is nice. Very nice. Dwarven, I'll wager. Mm, it's one of those gems that changes colour. I'll give you four pieces for it. Don't make me laugh. I want at least 40. 40 gold pieces? Huh. I won't get any higher than 10. I don't think we see eye to eye on this, pal. Okay, 15 pieces, but only because I like the look of you. Let's call it a nice even 20 and be done with it. Okay, okay. 18 gold pieces it is. Pardon? Uh, 20 then. But you drive a hard bargain, no mistake. I bet go and put it somewhere safe. Bye. I wonder how he did that. Forty-one gold pieces. What shall I do? I don't believe it. Lady Luck must be shining on me today. I'm off to try it out. Watch out, trees. Here I come. A pin used as a foothold for climbing across a rock face. There's a very hot fire burning in it. A hook used for hanging a pot over the fire. Even I'm not stupid enough to try that. It's a carbon dioxide fire extinguisher. I love these things. It's a few blocks of cedar. I'm allergic to Boeotian cherry wood. I'm allergic to oak. I like mahogany. That doesn't work. You got that mahogany yet then? As a matter of fact, I have. Woodworm, attack! <laughs> that was wonderful. Cozy in this hat, isn't it? I wouldn't know. Mind if we hang around here for a while? Damn sight better than a bloody stump. No problem. 
If you need us for anything, just shout, okay? Fine. I think I'll catch 40 winks. See ya. Weird. Lead down into the gorge. What a bizarre creature. Excuse me. Yes. Don't hurt us. Don't let them hurt us, precious nice hobbits. I hope this isn't an infringement of copyright. Don't worry. It's just the annual meeting of the Tolkien Appreciation Society. So, why are you dressed up like a limpet? This is my golem costume. It's taken me ages to make it. What do you think? It's not really my style. I just hope it's what Tolkien envisioned when he thought up the character. I've come dressed as that wizard bloke. Well, since you were the last to arrive, you can help me get dinner. What do you do at these meetings? You talk about him and his achievements. We also reenact famous scenes from his book, hence the costume. Mad. You're all completely mad. No, we just worship Tokyo. Excuse me, but I have to get on with my fishing. Why don't you just dial a pizza? This cave's not on the phone. Oh, right. Happy hunting then. See ya. Thanks. Excuse me. Have you seen them nasty thieving hobbit then? Oh, it's you. What a waste of a good routine. Excuse me, sir. Do you have a license to fish here? As a matter of fact, I do. Uh, that's fine then. Carry on. What was it that you're doing here? This is the annual general meeting of the Tolkien Appreciation Society. What's with a fishing rod? It's like this. Every year one of us gets chosen to get lunch. I haven't had so much as a nibble yet. Luckily, I happen to have some top quality, highly nutritious swamp stew with me. Really? That's excellent. Will this go around 40 people? It's concentrated. Just add boiling water and stir. Thanks a lot. You can have the fishing rod in return. Ta. I'll go and join the others looking for the ring. What ring? The ring. I could have sworn I had it on me when I started fishing. Aha! I wonder if this thing really works. Bloody hell! It does work! I'd better take it off before I wear it out.
my mahogany has been munched by a horde of woodworm. Okay, boys, time for you lot to do me a favor. No problem. It's wedged shut. It looks smaller from the outside. I can't get down there, it's too far. It's an engraved stone sarcophagus. It's full of bandages. Mm -hmm. ah! That was a close one. I feel like a real sucker for punishment. I've seen this done in cartoons. <laughs> it's a pile of dust and bandages. I can live without thousand-year-old bandages, thank you. It's a powerful-looking wizard staff. It's an engraved stone sarcophagus. Right, have we twittered the sparrows yet? Mm, I don't think that bit is too important. Well, it appears we underestimated the lad brothers. So now you make me a wizard, right? There's just one or two formalities to clear up first. If you'll just answer these questions, <laughs> for the record. Name? Simon. Thank you. All you have to do is pay the subscription fee, and you're a wizard. Subscription fee? Yes. A mere 30 gold pieces for junior members. I don't have that kind of money. Well, you can't be a wizard then. You wait right here. I'll find your money. So the prevailing wind... There you are. 30 gold pieces in unmarked coins. Can I be a wizard now? Well, I suppose so. Um, by the power invested in me, I pronounce you a wizard. That's it? Uh, yes. No ceremonies? Uh, no. No adoring crowds, confetti, wild orgies, banners and ice cream? Not usually, no. Right then. You do get a young wizard starter pack, though. Like when I open a bank account? Yes, it's got all kinds of goodies in it. You get a complimentary staff. A WizKid Club member badge. A WizKid quill. WizKid scroll notepaper. The WizKid multi-ingredient starter kit. A membership card. 
your first issue of WizKid magazine published quarterly, and many other wonderful freebies. Here you are, all held in this free WizKid wallet. Thanks, I think. Happy now? Just answer me a few questions. Who is Sordid? He was once a mighty sorcerer in the circle. He was booted out for repeated breaking of circle rules. What rules did he break? Most of them at one time or another. I remember the outcry when he managed to break rule 137. What's rule 137? Best you don't know. We never found out where he got the chickens, you know. Do you think he's around these parts? He's known to be lurking in this area somewhere. I'm just glad we found the staff and can get out of here now. How mighty is mighty? Very mighty. Great. No further questions, my lud. You know, I wonder where old Calypso... Hello, brothers. Go away. We were just getting to the crucial hand. Where did this game come from anyway? That short man with the strength... It's dark in here. Lucky I'm only small. I wonder when we'll get there. I'd better put the ring on now. Well, either I can still see myself, or the ring needs recharging. Hang on a moment. Oh, I had it on backwards. There are loads of empty cardboard boxes. My spell book's in this one. I finally got my spell book back. There's a loose piece of paper in it. It's covered in scribblings. It looks like someone has been trying to use my spell book. I wonder where the rest of the rat is. It's my WizKid Club wallet. It's full of useless junk. I don't want to let all the junk loose. It's a goblin key made from two teeth and a pencil. It's a metal slops bucket with a hole in the side of it. A large goblin guard is blocking the passage. I prefer blondes. I don't want to get cooked again. A collection of hot metal spikes. It's lucky my hat is fireproofed. It's a packet of super extra strong mints. Solid metal bars. It was never designed to be opened. Extremely heavy bronze-plated doors. 
They're sealed shut. A standard instrument of torture. He's manacled to the rack. Are you the druid from the village? Who are thou that hast voice but no presence? I'm standing behind you. Do not joke with me, Hellspawn. Yes, I'm the village druid, and you are in league with the hordes of darkness. If you're a druid, where's your sickle, eh? I left it at home, demon prince. Now, be gone. Look, let's be reasonable for a moment. I shall listen to no more lies from you. Leave now, or suffer the consequences. I don't think a man on a rack is in any position to make threats. Your emotional torture cannot hurt me, foul fiend. I'm sorry I spoke, okay? Goodbye. My eyes deceiveth me, or oh, tis a young boy in this den of filth. I'm no boy. I'm a master of magic. Cower, flower person. Fie! Tis you, demon prince. Thou shalt not fool me with thy disguise. Peace, man. I shall never make peace with evil. How come you're not talking oldie-worldie anymore? I... I do not answer the questions of the devil. My, my. Who's got a chip on their shoulder, then? Curse you! Loathsome wart on the world! Well, you've got me sus, then. Let there be no mercy on your cursed soul, foul beast! How can I prove I'm not a demon? There is a simple test. What is this simple test? It is a well-known fact that the only true way to destroy a demon is to plunge a silver dagger through its heart. If the creature dies, then it's a demon. If it lives, then its heart is pure, and so we sacrifice it. I expect you find a lot of demons by this method. Never been wrong yet. Oh, Lorks. I've left me silver dagger at home. Never mind. I've got one right here. Uh, on second thoughts. Are you afraid, Hellspawn? No, but if you want rescuing, you better stop giving attitude. Okay. Let's use the less reliable but more convenient trial. See this silver cross around my neck? Place it against your forehead. Why is this less reliable? Because sometimes people pass. Why is this more convenient? There's less blood to clean up afterwards. This isn't going to hurt, is it? Only if you're a foul, evil, depraved son of the devil, hellspawn beast. Maybe some other time. There is no escape from the forces of nature, evil one. Jeez. I'm back to take the more convenient, less reliable trial. Okay. But before I do, there's just one thing. Okay, let's do it. Very well. Goodbye, cruel world. Yow! So, you are a servant of evil. Did you enjoy the feel of the burning hot fire of good? What? That thing was freezing cold. It gave me quite a shock. Oh, well, I suppose I'd better...
take it all back then. Jeez. So, what's the escape plan then? Well... I don't know. Got any bright ideas? Well, uh, let me see. Are you any good with a sword? No. Can you cast powerful spells? Yeah, no. Looks like we're stuck then. Unless, of course, you can use some special druidic power to free us. It's not as easy as that. Flower... Uh, druidic magic comes from nature. All I can do without some nature handy is polymorph. Poly what? All druids are capable of turning into another animal. It happens when they see a full moon. What, so you're a bunch of werewolves then? Some of us are werewolves. Others are bears, or panthers, or snakes. What are you then? A frog. A frog? Something wrong with that, is there? No, no, no. But... A frog? I can't help it. It was chosen for me by the head of the order. Well, I'm sure that'll be of some use. Any ideas yet? I'm working on it. You'd better hurry up. The goblins will be back soon. Can I please put this bucket on your head? Why? Do you have some sort of plan? Yes, I've got a plan. Ribbit. I'd better hide until he gets back with help. I'll put the ring back on. I must have run the batteries out. You'd better get others. Oh dear. Maybe big bad. Ow! Extreme acupuncture. I think my hay fever's cured though. I'm coming now, so watch it! Aha! I can't see no one! No! No one in here! In behind you! What? Ah! <laughs> not funny! You on cleaning duty for a week? Please not, Captain! Have mercy! I know like look of things! We go get more gobos! I heard that, Captain! That was hot in there. I need a drink. It's a very strong hacksaw. This plank is loose.
It's Skull Island. It's a special herb with strange properties. Welcome to Naismith, the apothecary's taverna, your number one for love potions, cure-alls, and tri- Oh, it's you. Ribbit, ribbit, if you came in here for help, then you're going the wrong way about it. I don't need help from an overrated hippie. Hippie? If you're going to be like that, you can just leave. Fine. Come back to apologize, eh? You decided you need my help after all. No, I just fancied a good laugh. I am quite amusing, aren't I? That's not quite what I meant. Okay, I do have an exceedingly good potion I'm prepared to give you. However, it's a collector's item and you must only use it as a last resort. What exactly does it do? I don't know. It came from another dimension. One of my colleagues brought it back with him. He's been retired now, poor chap. Came back going on about rabbits and tea parties and the like. Very strange business. I'll take it. There is another condition, though. Aha! The anticipated fine print. If you want his fine potion, then you'll have to get me something. I need a special herb to help control my froggy condition. It's called Frog's Bane. My sources inform me that it can only be found on a place called Skull Island. If you find it, then you can have the potion. Do we have a d <coughs> Ribbit. Ribbit! He's polymorphed back into a frog. Fetch, froggy! Rip. Uh, thank you. I guess you want that potion now. Here you are, though I'm loath to part with it. That's okay. I was loath to part with the frog's bane. I see. There's a pin missing here. A very poor specimen. It hasn't even got any ears. Oi! You shall not pass! I shall not be stopped by a lump of water and a carrot. You shall not pass! 
I'm sure we can come to some arrangement. You shall not pass. Excuse me. You shall not pass. Wow! Hot stuff! Whoa. How typical! Just when I thought I was getting somewhere. It's a splodge of pink spray paint. What are you staring at, mate? You can talk? Give the kid a cigar. How come a tree has speech apparatus? Magic. Do you know any magic? Well, I've picked up the odd word or two as I went along. I can't quite remember what they do, though. Tell me them! Tell me them! It'll cost you, I'm afraid. I seem to spend forever running errands for people. Everyone's good at something. What do you want? See this pink splodge? Yeah? It's paint. Yeah? It means that bloody woodcutter will be coming along later to chop me down. Never mind. You'd make a lovely support beam. If you can remove the paint, then I'll tell you some magic words. Okay, sounds fair to me. You can probably get some white spirit at the shop in the village. Righty-ho! Hurry up, though! I'm on it! Your problems are solved. I'm very grateful. So, how about those magic words? Okay. I don't know what they do, so be careful. What are they? Alakazam. Hocus Pocus. Abracadabra. And sausages. Sausages? Yep. Very powerful magic word is that. I really do think I've been taken for a ride here. At least I'm not going to be chopped down anymore. Does anyone have any pink spray paint?
You want to fight, do you? You want a wizard's duel? What are the stakes? My broomstick against your life. Are you sure those odds are fair? Chickening out, eh? Quack! 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 Typical wizard! Now get out of here before I show you some real magic! Yes, ma'am. Phew! That was a close one. Do you? You want a wizard's duel? Okay, I'm game. Right, I'll make the rules. First, no vegetable or mineral, only animal. Second, no dragon. Third, no cheating. Any questions? What do I have to do exactly? Don't you know any magic words? Of course I do! You'll soon get the hang of it then! <laughs> Ready? Okay. Here goes nothing. The bam. A draw. Hocus, hocus. A draw. Hocus. A draw. Hocus. A draw. Hocus. A draw. Hocus. Hocus. That's one nil to you! Wow! Hocus! A draw! Hocus! Hocus! That makes one one! Hocus! That's two one to you! Wow! Makes it two two. Hocus. A draw. Hocus. A draw. Hocus. Hocus. A draw. Hocus. That's three two to me. I win. I win. That's one up for the witches. Now, what about you, huh? I'll just leave quietly, if that's okay with you. And don't come back! Think yourself lucky I already ate! I could have taken her. Just thought I'd let her off this once. Okay, wrinkled old hag, I'm back. You want a rematch, huh? Sure do. You were lucky last time. That's good. I was having second thoughts about letting you go anyway. <coughs> Ready? Okay. That's one nil to me! Hocus, hocus! That's two nil to me! Hocus, hocus! That's two one to me! Wow! Hocus, hocus! A draw! Makes it two two. Wow. <coughs> the 
Sam. That's three two to you. Wow. Well done. Does that mean I win? Sarta. What do you know? I won. I guess I'll just take my prize and clear off then. Now who's won, huh? Uh, no dragons? Did I say no dragons? Now you come to mention it, I don't believe you did. Well, I will give you a chance to defend yourself. Otherwise, it wouldn't be fair. What good will that do against the dragon? At least give me a challenge before I incinerate you. Um... Abracadabra! A mouse? This must be my lucky day. Except that now I've got a terrible craving for cheese. The broomstick I won when I thrashed the old witch. It has the words, drink me, on the bottle. A bit too much throttle there. They're big, heavy, and magically enchanted. They're magically and physically sealed shut. There's a small crack in the door. Oh. There's a little crack in the door down here. Hello, boy. How did you get in here? <coughs> really? <coughs> oh, I see. Hey, put me down, you mangy mutt. Ugh. What's that smell? Remind me to change your dog food when we get home. You've got a killer hairball here, boy. I'll get it for you. That was disgusting. It's a maple leaf. There's a matchstick in here. I'll just pick it up. It's a rusty old bucket. It's a piece of wood with a burnt end. It's a single strand of white dog hair. It's a small pebble. I think I'm in some sort of gigantic garden. A very small lily leaf. A garden tap which is caked with rust. They're fine examples of their kind. I don't see the point. I'll leave it here. It's too big to pick up.
I've pulped them into oil. That doesn't work. <coughs> There's a little tadpole swimming in it. It looks really upset. Oh, poo. Hey, I'm alive. But where the hell am I? Hey, I'm inside the frog. Yuck. Would you excuse me, please? I need to get past. Out of the way or the tadpole gets it. I guess I showed him. Bye-bye, little friend. It's a magical mushroom with Eat Me written on it. It's a branch from a tree. like some sort of earth tremor. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I'm out of here. <laughs> Its surface is dull and tarnished. It's long and hard with a pointy end. Some famous hero or another ready for battle. 
They're magically and physically sealed shut. Whoever he was, he had an enormous nose. It looks like a giant nutcracker. I bet they don't use this for drying clothes. Manacles, how kinky. I hope it's not like the one up the stairs. It's securely locked. It's a shiny lever just waiting to be moved. There's eight of them. I can turn people into stone with this. It's a suspiciously smelling pouch. It smells of hundred-year-old Gorgonzola. It's a mouse hood! It's a small squeaky thing that likes cheese. It's Sordid's money pouch with his sock in it. I'd better I'd better pick it up first. It tells you all about magic wands. It says that the only way a magic wand can be destroyed is to throw it into the fiery pits of Rondor. I can see my reflection in it. Pretty it ain't. What's the matter? Never seen a talking mirror before? Hmm? Oh, get a grip, will you? La di da, a talking mirror. I'm actually a magical scrying mirror. I can see out of any reflective surface anywhere in the world. Just name the place and you can hear and see it as if you were there. You're some kind of spying device? I prefer the term surveillance. Sordid uses me to assist him in hatching evil plots. He's a sod though. Do you know how long it's been since I last had a good polish? He treats me like some sort of slave. I've got feelings, you know. Mm, what do you know, Max? An intruder. Intruder? Yeah. I bet, like, he's come to deal with sordid.
sordid. Yeah. Shall we like go and tell him? Tell him. Yeah. We couldn't just sit there while the boss gets, you know, done over. Done over. Yeah. Then again, we could just do our jobs and, you know, just eat the intruder like where he stands. Eat him. Yeah. Or we could just carry on with a game, just like ignore the intruder. Ignore. Yeah. Okay then. Apparently, it's some sort of magical metal polish. It's an extremely shiny shield. It's a small hook to hang things on. It's a standard teleporter. I'm not going in there until I know how to work it. Uh, hello. Um, there's like... Two orc eyes and a goblin tooth beat a triple dragon. I uh, thought not. I lose again, Max. Again? Yeah. What are you? What do we look like? Your shake, Max. My mummy says I mustn't talk to strangers. <laughs> yeah, mum used to say that too. What are you? What do we look like? Your shake, Max. Tact prevents me from passing comment. What we are is uh, angry, uh, annoyed, bothered, cross, displeased, exasperated, flustered, harassed, irritable, nettled, out of humour, peeved, peaked, put out, Riled, ruffled, and vexed, ain't we, Max? Irritated, yeah. Why are you irritated, I hear you ask? I'm not really interested. I've got enough problems. It doesn't matter. I can tell you're not interested in, you know, our problems. Is he, Max? Not interested, <laughs> yeah. Dying his smokes. It's a filthy habit. You really should give up. It's alright. We've got loads. Ain't we? Loads. <laughs> yeah. Excuse me. Yeah? I thought demons were huge red monsters that breathe fire and fly. That's down to good publicity. We are the genuine article, aren't we? Genuine? <laughs> yeah. Sordid keeps us here as slaves. What's with this sordid guy anyway? He wants to, you know, rule the universe, doesn't he? <laughs> rule, yeah. I blame the parents. Parents, yeah. And just where do you fit into these plans? We are Sordid's personal bodyguards, jailers, Gardeners, cleaners, chefs, you name it, like, we do it. We do, yeah. It's a living hell. Why don't you have a wild... Demon strike? We're already having one. It doesn't, like, keep us here to play dice, you know. To be honest, I'm not really, like, sure why he keeps us here at all. Ever since he got hold of that wand. Our tasks have been rather limited. Limited? <laughs> yeah. He read about it in a children's book. It turns people to, like, stone. Stone, yeah. Which accounts for those very lifelike statues of the people that, like, tried to stop him.
I've read that book. All I need is a talking lion. Remember, kids, drugs really screw you up. If I were you, kiddo, you wouldn't see me for, like, dust. Dust. Yeah. Okay, I'm scared. Show me the door. Sorry, but, like, the only way out is through the teleporter in this room. Personally, I'm blowed if I'm gonna tell you how to use it. Oh, please. No. Pretty please? No. I'll tell my mummy on you. Still no. My big brother will beat you up. No. I'll hold my breath. Go on then. I'll go to hell. Not again. You can't drink no water. What have I ever done to you? We're demons. We don't work for the good of the people, you know. People? Yeah. Why don't you just escape using the teleporter? We tried. It doesn't, like, work for demons. We need a wizard powerful enough, like, to send us back to the pit. Pit? Yeah. Stuff you. Why should I help a pair of low-life demons? Because only we know how to use the, you know, teleport. Teleport? Yeah. So find us a, like, wizard. Or you're as good as, like, petrified. Petrified. Yeah. Oh, I'd better go and find one then. Found us a wizard yet, kiddo. But I'm a powerful wizard. Pardon my lack of confidence, oh mighty one. But like, you're hardly a wizard at all. Would you care to step outside? Ain't it past your bedtime, kiddo? I've killed for less than that. Oh dear, I'd better get my, like, headstone done. Headstone? Yeah. Oh yeah? Yeah! Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to make something of it? I can't be bothered to, like, argue. And what makes you think I'm not a wizard, eh? I've met a few wizards in my time, like, and they're all fat, chemical stained, befuddled old fools. Fools. Yeah. Nah. It's out of fashion to be fat and old these days. I can't be bothered to, like, argue. If you are a wizard, then send us back to the pit. And in return, we'll tell you how to use the teleport. Teleport? Yeah. Right then, I'll just go and get prepared. I guess I'd better, like, pack my bags then. Bags? Yeah. It tells you all about magic wands. It says that the only way a magic wand could... I can see my reflection in it. Do you require my services now? What's it like being a mirror? On reflection, I'm really hung up about it. <laughs> oh, it was funny down the pub. Hilarious. Show me the lab on the top floor. There's a good chap. What's the point? It's only just up the stairs. You're not here to ask questions. Get on with it. Hey, kid. What's bitten you? Never mind. Here goes.
Why are you like so nervous in front of strangers, Belch Grab It? Wouldn't you be with a name like Belch Grab It? It's not much better than Snog Fundle, really. Suppose not. Belch Grab It and Snog Fundle. I've seen enough. Thanks for your help, Mr. Mirror. It's Sordid Spellbook. It looks just like mine. There's a spell here to return demons to hell. You need a double square with eight candles, a mouse and a human skull. You also need to know the demons' true names. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. Hello again. Got it sorted then. I'll just draw a quick magic square on the floor. Yeah, you can borrow my chalk. Okay, we're all set. Let's rock. I'm impressed. Very impressed. This might just work. Work. Yeah. Hey, kiddo. Now I'll tell you how to operate a light teleport. Just push the red button marked self-destruct and tell the machine where you want to go. It's a one-way trip, though. You can't, like, get back without the password. Password. Yeah. And we don't, like, know it. Take it away, Sonny. Okay, here goes. Zabag, Zinza, Zenog, Yarmak, Zog. Onya. Looks like we're stuck. Wow, that really tingled. I hope it worked okay. This is Sparky the Talking Teleport at your service. It would be my pleasure to whisk you safely and conveniently to the destination of your choice. Fiery Pits of Rondor, please. Your selected destination is the Fiery Pits of Rondor. Please fasten seat belts and extinguish smoking materials. It's a pile of small pebbles. It's a small forked sapling. A fire alarm bell with a push button center. He looks bored.
I'm from the tourist board and I'm running a routine inspection. In that case, you can try out the ticket selling service. Do you do special rates for mighty wizards? Mighty wizards go free. Why do you ask anyway? Because I am a mighty wizard. And I'm the tooth fairy. Why do I get the impression he doesn't believe me? I had no idea this place was a tourist attraction. Three years ago it wasn't. That's King Gerald for you. Have some brochures. Visit the fiery pits of Rondor. An ideal family day out. See the fires of hell in full effect. And remember, free sunblock for everyone. Sounds really neat. So, why is there no one here? That's just it, isn't it? The place is at least 150 miles from the nearest village. The only way to get here is on foot or by magic. We've only had two visitors in the last three years. And one was a wizard. Sordid. Yeah, yeah, that's it. The other was this little green fella. Now, are you going to pay up or not? You have to let me in. The fate of the world depends on it. No, I don't. The fate of my job depends on it. You're making a big mistake, you know. Changed your mind about letting me in? No, I haven't. Oh, look. There's an elastic band around them. It's a pile of very colorful brochures for the fiery pits of Rondor. I'm out of here. It's a book of souvenir matches. It's a bucket of floor wax. When I catch the person that set off the sprinkler system, I'll roast them alive. Now, I've got to find a way to relight this damn thing. Just when I was about to finish my new wand as well. I seriously don't think that will be a good idea. Quite ironic, you say? Hey, slime bucket! Pasta la pizza, baby! No! That'll teach you to mess with Simon the Sorcerer. The only problem now is how to destroy the wand and save Calypso. Quite a good likeness. I'm quite pleased with myself. That doesn't work. I don't see the point. Sordid and all his magic couldn't get this thing working. And you expect me to be able to do it with a book of matches? pool of bubbling lava. Here goes. Now all the statues should return to normal. I'll be made a hero for sure. Not only have I rid the world of sordid, but I've saved all the good guys as well. At least I'm out of danger now. 
I just had a thought. Uh oh. Well, 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 little wizard. You've made me really angry now. Beware, evil one, or face my wrath. Don't make me laugh, little wizard. This time, I intend to make sure you die properly and with great suffering. I guess it's goodbye then. You almost finished the game as well. Say your prayers, little wizard. Hello, Sordid speaking. Who? Oh. Hang on a minute. It's some life insurance people. They want to speak to you. Hello? Is that Simon the Sorcerer? Speaking. This is Calypso here. You did a great job with the one who we've all turned back to normal. I'm coming to rescue you. Try and stall him for a bit. Okay. Uh, okay. See you in a bit. Bye. What did I want? Just to tell me my life policy is cancelled. Okay then, get ready for pain such as you've never imagined. Hang on a minute. What is it now? Why can't you just shut up and die? Uh, have you heard the one about the vicar and the mongoose? No. Have you heard the one about the butter? No. I'd better not tell you. You might spread it. Oh, ha 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 I haven't got time for jests at the moment, though. I've got far more important things to be doing. It's time for you to die. That'll teach that little squirt to mess with me! Well, what do you know? Hundreds of razor-sharp spikes, and I miss every one. I wonder what happened to the bridge. Nice try, loser. You'll have to do better than that to beat me. This time, I'll make sure you die. Who turned out the lights? Congratulations! Well done! You finished Simon the Sorcerer! Well, Simon, what does it feel like to be a hero? What's this guy on? Would you like to say something to your fans? Don't miss next year's sequel! Don't hold your breath. I'm not going through all that again. Phew, what an awful dream. I guess I must have dropped off. Looks like I've no say about the sequel.